Welcome, Gemini, and welcome to your July 2022 reading. Welcome back, you guys. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. You are watching GURU Tarot. This is going to be for my beautiful sun, moon, rising, and Venus in Gemini. So if you have any of those planets in Gemini, this reading may also resonate with you. And also, know that these readings are timeless readings. So whenever they show up in your feed, whenever you decide to click on the reading, whenever you're guided to the reading by spirit is when the reading is right for you. And also know that these are general readings. So not everything in the reading will resonate with you. In fact, the whole reading may not resonate with you. So only take the bits and pieces of the reading that do and get rid of everything that doesn't. Never make a reading work for you. And also if it truly resonates with you, it is a gift from spirit for you, okay? And also, uh, if you can please like, share, and subscribe, it really helps me grow my channel as, as I would like to be able to grow and give you guys more content as this is one of my side hustle jobs as I do have a day job. And I would definitely love to be able to grow my hobbies, which are my side hustles. And then also, I have my contest going on, so if, my ongoing contest. So if you have the most views and likes, I factor in comments below as well if you have the most in that then you will be right after the birthday sign of leo in the next month okay all right uh, gemini so let's go ahead and get started with your reading gemini and see what it is that spirit wants to tell you for the month of july what is it that we can tell gemini for the month of july and then the first row again is about what's going on with you wait Spirit wants to tell you. So what is it that Gemini needs to know, Spirit, for the month of July? What is it that we can tell Gemini for the month of July? What is it that Gemini needs to know, Spirit, for the month of July? What is it that we can tell Leo? I mean, you may be dealing with the Leo, but Gemini for the month of July. So four cards came out, so we'll go ahead and take all four. And we have the Seven of Cups, the World card, and the Ace of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles here. So I feel, Gemini, that you may have a lot of things going on right now. You have, may have all of these opportunities that are coming at you with the Seven of Cups. But to understand that a lot of these things that are coming at you are illusions and to be wary of it, to be cautious of it, to um, take a step back and review it. Um, because most of it is an illusion with the Seven of Cups here. See, it's up in the clouds. There's a lot of things going on. Um, there's a lot of emotions that are involved around all of these things too so just know that it's better to just take a step back and not to be impulsive with all of these people these things that are coming at you so maybe being watching your finances where you put your investments in the people around you um what they're offering you, I would be cautious. And with the world card, I feel that you are stepping into a new chapter of your life, something that feels new. So I feel that there's a lot of offers coming your way. The world could mean a change. It could be mean travel as well, travel the world, right? So it's this time where there's a lot going on, but to be cautious about a lot of them, there's a lot of things. And that with the world card is a lot of shift and changes and starting on this new chapter. And it's exciting because it's like this new start of love. So you're excited about what's happening. There may be this potential of a new love or since you're moving into this new chapter, it is also this, this healing love that's presenting itself. 
and you're reviewing a lot of what's happened in your past of where you are right now and it's gotten you got to this point I feel with the, a new shift and change with the world card into the, a new journey a new chapter traveling it could be we are in summertime so you may be traveling a lot and you are having this renewal of love and reviewing all the things that you may have done and moving forward with it in regards to what it is with love in the situation you feel like you have grown and it has brought this great stability of the world card because the world card is a major arcana and they are suggesting that you've been through so much with the seven of cups you over you went through so much you passed a lot of tests you went into a new chapter and found a great love and you're reviewing that and that is what i'm getting here so let's go ahead and see what kuan yin wants to tell you gemini for the month of july what is it that gemini needs to know spirit for the month of july what is it that Gemini needs to know spirit for the month of July. And so, I'm going to get this one here. And so, this is a beautiful card with uh, the little girl here. And it looks like, I'm not sure what I can see here, what animal, oh, a lamb. It looks like a lamb. So, it feels like there's a lot of emotion and passion here. And in this sense is what I'm getting. Since the little girl looks fairly young here. And so, Let's go ahead and see what Kuan Yin wants to tell you. And it looks like I have two cards attached here. So, anyways, I'm going to go with this card since this is the card we were looking at. And I'm going to go ahead and give you the title of this one, though. But I'm not going to read that one. I'm going to read what this one is. And it says, Love Your Body and Live Your Dream." I want you to experience all that life has to offer. I want you to see your dreams coming alive in the world. When you love the sacred soul animal of your body, as I love you, then you will manifest all that is divinely meant for you and thrive. It's believing in yourself. Believing in yourself right down to the core. That you're able to manifest as you are, Gemini, the magician. To manifest what it is and being able to review what has not worked with all these illusions but knowing that you always have the world to to move into a new chapter of your life with love so love your body and live your dreams because your body is a temple in that sense so live, live through life with joy and harmony um let's go ahead and oh yeah i was going to read you this card too what this card says i'm not going to read through it though but it is the strength of you so it that makes sense with everything that's going on here as well if the strength starts with you and so let's go ahead and see what it is that spirit wants to tell you with what the person that you're dealing with is thinking of of you and or what's going on what you're thinking with the, this person that you're thinking deeply of or what is going on with gemini in their life or what is it that spirit wants to tell gemini in regards to who they're thinking of who's thinking of them or what gemini needs to know ultimately so i have this nine of pentacles what else does gemini need to know spirit for the month of july what is it the person that they're dealing with the moon card what else does Gemini need to know in regards to the person they're thinking of or who's thinking of them? We have the two of swords in reverse. What else does Gemini need to know in regards to the person that they're thinking of or who's thinking of them? The death card. What else is going on in regards to the person that Gemini is thinking of or who's thinking of them? This ten of cups. What else is going on with the person that Gemini is thinking of or who's thinking of them? And we have this three of 
pentacles in reverse. All right. Okay. So let's get some clarification cards here. All right. What is it that Gemini needs to know? Spirit. We have this Wheel of Fortune. And to confirm with everything from the very beginning of what is going on with you with the Wheel of Fortune, that is a major arcana as well. Things are going to be moving in a way that you can have never imagined for the better in your life with the Wheel of Fortune. So turning of events that has once been negative is going to move into a new chapter with positive results, maybe even lots of money coming as the Wheel of Fortune, but good things in regards that love is manifesting in itself as well. But let's go ahead and continue on with the second and third row. So there's this three of wands and is there's this 10 of wands. So Gemini, what I'm feeling here with the, the nine of pentacles, this is really strong independent energy in regards to this very independent person, this woman who is very successful with all the fruits of her labor and doesn't need anyone in regards to rely on. So this, this nine of pentacles is very reliant, self-reliant on herself. And so she doesn't need all of these illusions that come towards her. So I'm feeling the person that you're maybe dealing with is very successful um, and doesn't need to be seduced by much illusion and the moon card though all is not what it seems so maybe this your person that's coming towards you wants you to believe that they're independent and successful they don't need these illusions so it's very interesting because with the moon card that's um uncovering that they may not have it all together they may just present that to you on the outside I do feel though with the world card here above the moon is that your person wants to shift and change into another chapter or recreate, reinvent themselves or be able to tell you some sort of truth with the change of the chapter. But all is not what it seems of how they present themselves as this person that is very successful and has everything under control with the moon card next to it. I feel that they're not telling you everything. All is not what it seems. I feel that there is a lot of conflicts here with this two of swords, that there may be um, decisions that they need to make and they're not wanting to see some sort of truth. Your person, they may have addictions too with the moon card that they're not telling you, but I feel that they're covering their heart and they're not wanting to express some sort of love to be able to open up their heart because they want to be this independent person that's on their own. It could be someone that's very selfish to you. You know, they could be selfish at times. Um, they are working and reviewing things and love is very important to them as they are presenting this Ace of Cups energy. And so as they review things that did not work with the Moon card and wanting to move into another chapter, they do feel that with this Ace of Cups that you would be the right person that they would want to share this love energy with. They have this love for you with this Ace of Cups. They wanna be able to give you this cup of love. They do plan on seeing you. They want to move forward and this action is moving forward with wanting to see you. Maybe traveling a distance to see you. They feel that they are going through some sort of transformation or there is this death and it could be the sense of these illusions, to end these illusions, because maybe they don't have everything they, that you thought. Maybe they were showing you this, 
these illusions, trying to, in a sense, you know, make make themselves attractive to you when they really didn't have everything is what I'm getting here. But they do want to transform. They want to end a cycle. It could also mean with this nine of pentacles, this energy is, is lonely or by themselves. And they want to end this cycle and be able to share, you know, everything that they have because they may have everything but they don't they're not they feel alone with the moon card they give this appearance that everything's okay and that they have everything they need and that they don't need a lot of things or or anyone but there's the sense with the moon card of feeling lonely so it could be that as well with your person. And they want to end the cycle and be able to come to you with this Ten of Cups energy to have everything with you, to have fulfillment with you. It's this loving energy that includes love, right? Because I feel that it could also mean that this person doesn't have everything and it's a realization. And what they want is to have this, this grand love that they, they see with you. But they do know that it's going to take some work to work together with you to be able to have the sense of stability to build on that. It is going to take effort. It's a give and take energy. And they have this fear of opening up their heart, I feel. But they feel that as they review things, with the past with you, I feel Gemini. They feel that there was this gentleness, this love that was given. They feel that as they review things that they can trust in this love. I feel that your person was hurt in the past by all these illusions and you know other people things and other things that came their way but they were able to not have to deal with all of these illusions but had that fear of opening up But like I said here, they do want to change because they do see this Ten of Cups that they can have with you. So they feel, though, like I had said, this burden of not being able to open up. And with this Three of, of Pentacles, they know it's going to take effort to be able to work in a relationship that they are so used to being on their own. And with this Ten of Wands, it may feel like a burden to your person. So this is what your person struggles with. And so as we recap this, there's all of these illusions that um, your person may be feeding you or your person um, is very, does not want to be a part of in these illusions I'm getting as well. Because it's the sense of they have bit, been bit in the back so many times. And they're, they want to know what they're getting into with this moon card here. It's not knowing. And there is this, with a moon card of fear, uh, what, if it, what if it doesn't work out, you know, when they are with you? And when they open up their heart, they're afraid of that it doesn't work out. It will be a burden. It will be painful because they want this to work out with this ton of cups here. And they do want to have a wheel of fortune of good energy coming forth to them. I feel it's because they've been burnt so many times with a seven of cups here. And so they want to have this new cycle with this all this luck oh, in love and they want to move towards you. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing here. So let's get an empath card for you, an empath oracle card for you, Gemini for the month of July. What is it, the Gemini? Gemini needs to know spirit for the month of July. 
visualize a shield of protection. So to protect yourself from toxic people or situations, imagine a shield of white light surrounding your body. This keeps negativity out and lets positive energy in. So this is great practice energy that you can practice for yourself in regards to protecting your energy, but also making and making your person see that they can be able to feel that this energy is all what it's cracked up to be. To be able to open their heart space when they also visualize that white shield of protection around them. So this is exactly what I feel that your person needs. And so being able to share that with them if you can, or if they are at a distance, you can imagine this white shield of light around you. And with the energy I feel that with your person, they can feel that energy too, and it will go back to them as well. So it's just that beautiful white light of healing that you can practice as you meditate. And this aura light does get emit and get bigger and bigger, protects your outer space. And as you, like I say, meditate even more, you can, you can make this, this energy grow. So... What else does, um, we're going to, I mean, maybe, maybe, don't, whatever, go, it doesn't have to be, but let's go ahead and, um, I was just about to say that that's why, <laughs> but anyways, let's go ahead and see what it is that, um, the romance angels wants to tell you for the month of July. Separation. And you deserve love. So time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So I feel that when we see this person, I feel it could be a person that has everything, gives you the illusion that they have everything, but also that this person is not telling you everything in regards to how they're feeling, like they have everything in control, but what they're feeling is that lonely, and it could be the separation, this time apart from your partner is on the horizon, and that's what's going on with your person when this person may not be able to articulate what they want in regards to what they with this um ten of cups because we did see that this person protects their heart but understand that you deserve love because you are lovable gemini and that you have this magnetic power of love and white shield of protection that you vibrate and that your person can feel because they do want to have this Ten of Cups energy with you. And so that's what I have for you for the month of July, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I love you guys. Thank you so much. And again, if you have the most views and our likes combined along with comments, then you can be right after the birthday sign of Leo next month, okay? Thank you so much for being with me and have a great month. Thank you. Bye.